Welcome back. Right now, I'm in Office 365 Porter. You must have a valid Office 365 license, which is now Microsoft 365. By the way, if you do not have, I would recommend you go through the video that I have before this, which is showing you how to create a Microsoft developer account, which sort of give you access to a premium feature of Microsoft 365, in fact, E5 license. And that way you're able to learn and practice alongside. That account is for learning purpose and not for commercial purpose. Okay, so when you log into Office Portal, right here I can see list of applications and if I click on this button, you know, you're going to see all apps. It's going to show me all the applications. I'm interested in list. Right now I'm going to navigate to list. Okay, so we also have list inside SharePoint. In fact, list was primarily in SharePoint. It was in 2020 that Microsoft brought list out as a service and later they start adding functionality to it but everything is still connected together but later list might be on its own okay so i'm just going to go straight to list and right click so that i can open a new tab the reason why i'm doing this is it might overload my office port and i don't want it to do that so right now i'm in list you know this environment is simple to navigate if you've not created anything before you're not going to see any recent list of course and everywhere is going to be blank and maybe a two or three dialog box just trying to show you how to navigate the environment. I'm going to click on new list. We are trying to build something similar to a database. And that's why I'm going to click on new list, which looks like executable, but it's not. Another interesting thing here is you can create your list from blank, which we're going to do in the second approach. We're going to create, you can also import directly a data from Excel and turn it to a list. You can create a list from another existing list. That will save you time, especially the column definition and other settings you have there. There are also templates. There are also template to guide you through. Our own interest uh, is in this issue tracker, which I'm going to click on. You see, the issue tracker will give you an highlight of how it looks like. This is the issue. You know, this is the description. These are the columns there. The priority, the different status. You can navigate through. But one thing here is that when I use this template, it's not going to import this data alongside. It's just showing me how it looks like when you put it to use when you create and add data to it all right so i'm just going to click on use template i'm asked to you know name it okay i'm okay with issue tracker and do i want to okay let me just call it this bug i'm okay with this bug do i want to change color or themes if i like this thick that that green then do you want to save just inside your list or you want to attach it to a sharepoint list so i'm just going to leave it inside my list and I will use that also to teach us something else. All right. Okay, so let me just go ahead and click on create. Clicking on create, the list will get created. And right now, as you can see, everywhere is blank. There is nothing there, but the list has been created. You cannot scroll and see all the columns. To help us better understand this, let's just create an item. I'm going to click on this new so I can add item to this list. This particular issue, I'm going to call it PC not connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was the description. Hotspot not working. What's the priority? Actually, it's high. It is not critical, but it's high for me. Don't forget, you shouldn't have access to this backend. We're going to use an app, but I'm just creating this data from scratch so that I can have at least one data point why we go ahead and create a you know app while we are signing it by now i assume that i don't have access to this i'm only creating the status date reported i'm not fully i'm not feeling that so do i want to add the url or do i want to add an image i'm not doing that now i can edit the app when it's ready i'm going to click on save awesome so do you see some things here date reported this is not here it hasn't been assigned this old because I'm reporting today, so this column is a calculated one. It's calculating how old is this request. It's zero days now. And you can see everything is, is just okay now. Right. So in the next video, we assume we have our database. We have at least where this issue tracker, any issue captured from the app can be dropped. And the backend, the service desk team can have access to this backend and assign and change status based on update on that particular issue. So in the next video, then I'm going to show you how to start building your app by clicking on one, two, three button.
they happened already. 